Well, look, there seems to be something rather strange going on when it comes to the retained EU law bill. Now, you may remember uh, MPs in the House of Commons have already actually voted for this bill, basically to chuck out uh, all retained EU law by the end of this year, unless it's reformed or restated. A plan for a post-Brexit bonfire of EU rules, heavily backed in the Commons, as I said, easily passed by 59 vote uh, majority. But of course, we've got this ridiculous system, in my view, where it then goes, for some reason, to an unelected House of Lords. And one of those in the Lords, Conservative peer Lord Moylan, has drawn people's attention to this. He's described this as a huge and inexplicable setback for Brexit, that the retained EU law bill has vanished from the latest version of the House of Lords forthcoming business. It looks like the bill has now been dropped from current business, replaced by the online safety bill there you see on the 19th of April. Now David Campbell Bannerman questioning what is the hell is going on here, saying if this is linked to the Windsor frame-up, Sunak has betrayed Brexit. He says the biggest economic benefit of Brexit is deregulation, so this retained EU law bill is critical to delivering Brexit. There are no excuses for delay. Stephen Barrett given his take on this, that in fact the retained EU law bill not compatible with the Windsor framework, which of course voted for overwhelmingly in the Commons with some notable exceptions, including the likes of Boris Johnson and Liz Truss voting against it. But his point there is that the retained EU law bill is not compatible with that Windsor framework because the laws continue to apply in Northern Ireland, but he suspects this is the backflow mechanism at work where EU law, as a result, carries on applying UK-wide. Others questioning whether this sunsetting deadline to bin off EU regulations will now be extended. And then on top of this, you've also had this report from Christopher Hope that in fact, some in the Lords, surprise, surprise, uh, tabling an amendment it looks like, that would mean instead of the retained EU law bill abolishing EU laws by the end of 2023, there would instead be a deadline extension until the 31st of December 2028. And I only laugh because that is just so farcical. So I'm going to keep my eyes on this one, guys, uh, and update you as and when we get more information as to what the hell is going on here. But let me know what you make of that in the comments below. I will keep bringing you all the latest on this and more. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.